Did Peter consider Paul's letters to be scripture? That certainly does seem to be the case. If you go to the very end of 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 15 and 16, Peter is talking about our beloved brother Paul, and he says he wrote to you according to the wisdom given to him in all his letters. Now, we're not sure how many of the letters of Paul that Peter had, but he refers to Paul's epistles, these same kind of letters, of course, that we still read today. And Peter says there are some things in these letters that are hard to understand, and we who still study Paul's letters today can certainly appreciate that. Yeah, mo many things are clear, but there's also some things which are, which are hard to understand. Peter goes on, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction as they do the other scriptures. So, just like people twist the other scriptures, and by other scriptures, Peter's talking here about the Old Testament. That's the typical Greek word used to refer to the Tanakh. And so Peter is putting Paul's letters into the same category of Scripture as the Tanakh, as the Torah, and as the prophets, and as the writings of the Old Testament. And this is the first, the earliest attestation we have that Paul's letters aren't just individual letters to congregations in Rome or Corinth or whatever it is written with apostolic authority, but are deemed to be, in fact, Scripture on par with the same authority as the Old Testament.